I be looking at it, man. If somebody comes up, they start talking about I see inside you. Yeah, I thought he was going to say something, man. <laughs> they were too close, man. I've been like, seeing that nigga for years. Oh, uh, have you? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, like, I'm, I've been trying to, like, I don't, not, like, too close. I'm, like, too close, man. Yeah, he, he, he say always been on Cleveland Avenue. The hood. Come here from Kingdom. No motherfucker, you always been here all your life. That was something. He reminded me of something. He's like a... I can't put a finger on He remind me of somebody. He remind me of Bernie Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He I was got looking like, eyes, don't he? I was looking like, man, Bernie Mac eyes. Got the glasses and everything. Yeah. I just watched that show too. The Bernie Mac. That nigga funny as hell. Funny cell. as a motherfucker. <laughs> this Bernie show, man. This show is funny. Yeah, that show was on time. I know. I took him out with a with a. Most uh, Bernie Mac was a wicked ass motherfucking yeah, nigga, man. <laughs> all, all the motherfuckers wicked, wicked as a motherfucker, man. I mean, the shit you watch his show, that show, man. I all never kind of watched it. Shit going on. Yeah, that motherfucker's talking about that. That's how most how it works. He'll put the spirit on the devil to take you out. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, cause the Lord is one who creates all that evil. Like when the scriptures say the evil days. Yeah, I'm gonna find that. Nine <laughs> eleven. I still watch oh, that yeah, whole complete series over and over, man. Yeah, that shit funny. That's the funniest yeah. shit. It was just on uh, MTV, too. Okay. But uh, he keep on, he, his woman keep on yeah, being in control and shit. I still think Netflix. he can take credit for all that. Right, right. Don't care. That's how I'm on it. Did you know, on 9-11, you get on Google, and you can just get on Google images and type in demons and smoke 9-11. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can probably just type in demons in smoke, not even type 911. But type something on. like that in there. And you'll see how there's demons in the smoke on the 911 when they blew up the towers. Yeah. But that, that's the most highest demons. So the, so he saw he thinks he's getting power from these demons, but right. the demons are lying to him. It's really the because the demons obey the voice of Yahweh Shai. Very, uh, we, we got control over the demons. We can curse them out the name of Yahweh demon they'll leave us alone that's right. and that, the demon will fear us that's right. because we come in the name of the lord yeah. Yeah. for real stand strictly for that name man that is... it's amazing because you got actually you got actually spirits that's bound that even... they bound right oh like Asmo yeah. uh asmodeus yeah that's bound up in egypt did he that's oh. They didn't even surface, like, I mean, I mean we talked about that before, yeah. Yeah. You know, but yeah. How they bound it Asmodeus up yeah. in uh in Egypt of all places. Huh? Imagine you know, that. The heart years. of wickedness. Like, the Egypt. Yeah, so uh, Asmodeus done been released on that. It's, it's that that motherfucker's out here. <laughs> yeah, along with a little few yeah. other ones. Yeah. Yeah, fucking Man. Legion, all of them. That's in total. So, you know what I mean? It's Not that was uh, the ones that all that are bound and loosed. For the great new river Euphrates. Yeah. We had, uh, Revelation somewhere. Uh, I was about to look at something. Yeah, I think this this might be it. Yeah, oh, okay, that's it. Yeah, because that's like I was saying, there was many, it's more, it had to be more than just as most, as, what's his name in Tobit? Asmodeus? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is Revelation 9 and 14. I'm starting 14. But he was a heavy one, yeah. 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 Was a lot. Saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great rivers Euphrates. And the four angels were loose. So, four of them are part of them. <laughs> Shit. Which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And that third part of men is goddamn fucking Esau. The goddamn Edomites. You know? The wicked. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, the seed of Satan. That's gonna be some man. And them no angels already doing their business over there. They're 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 rousing up everything, you know. Yeah. They're getting in the minds of those leaders and rulers and and, and and captains and and and, and, and lieutenants and yeah, you know going down. World War Three is just stirring up, man. It's just stirring yeah, up. Yeah, these demons will fucking they get uh give you delusions of grandeur, <laughs> make you think you're yeah. something you're not. Yeah. They do that to brothers that was in the truth. 
So, I mean, a demon will fuck with an actual Israelite, bug his mind out, tell all kind of lies to him, mm -hmm. give you false scripture breakdowns and all kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what what I mean? Shit. That happened to Judas. I didn't yeah. say the spirit of Satan came on him. Oh, there you oh, go. Judas. Yeah, Judas, yeah. And he, uh, he got fucked up. Yeah, you gotta have a solid foundation, man, to deal with these spirits, man. You can't take them lightly. I don't give a fuck who you are, man. I'm fucking blue spirits, man. Russell not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Yep. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Man. Some crazy shit. If you don't have that name, you might just hang, hang it up. Just hang it up. Calling on Jesus. You're going to have that, uh, you know, I mean, it happened to me laying in bed and I can't wake up and can't move. Yeah, it happened yeah. to me like it was just for like a few seconds though. Well, I yeah. thought you said it wasn't for minutes. At first, I thought you said yeah, you were laying in bed like that before. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just laying in bed, can't, 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 can't move, move at all. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I've but, had times when um um all, it just happened suddenly. I just couldn't breathe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just literally I couldn't breathe. But I just like, like Satan, you know, being mm -hmm. a deceiver, give it some scientific name. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> and then give you write your prescription. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see some. What's up? Nope. What? <laughs> I didn't hear a word he said. Oh, Simba was smoking. Oh, did he? Yeah. I think he wanted some weed. Like, yeah, we're, we're out here selling fucking shit. <laughs> like, dime bags. Yeah, I got dime bags and shit. Yeah, yeah, like, 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 they, they sell blunt bags now. Goddamn FBI yeah. agents. You know, right, right, right. <laughs> There's a lot of them walking around too, a lot of uh, yeah. undercovers. Yeah. That blends right in perfectly yeah. too. Smoke crack and everything. Yeah, they, they got all that shit in their system. Yup. They dirty as all hell, man. Damn right, damn right. Dirty as all fucking hell. And that's, and that's called entrapment. Set them oh, they don't up. care though. Oh, right. They don't, oh, Especially yeah. in Columbus. They, they, they know laws and order in Columbus. Damn. Them judges do what the fuck they want to do. The fuck they're the law, the law. They, they're the, the law. law. Do what the fuck they want. And unless, unless you pay a certain amount of money, they're not letting you walk. Because <laughs> to get that top attorney, mm -hmm. it's going to cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. But guess what? Mm -hmm. that, that attorney you just gave all that money to, he goes out to lunch and goes out drinking with the judge. If he's not sleeping with the judge. If he's not fucking blowing him. Right, right. Here come that weird girl. Here come that weird girl. Oh. oh, shit. All right, get this bitch right on the camera. See, right there. Okay, I got it. Uh, across the street. I'm going to play it off. What? Hey, I got a uh, scripture for those brown fuckers. Oh, yeah, she got a, she got a body over there. <laughs> I don't remember. You, you, you just talking about her. She's over there, though. Yeah, yeah. we're walking funny. Oh, yeah. That's a Drake, too. Oh, yeah. What's up? How you doing? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a Drake for your ass. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the scripture oh, real quick. That's the spirit got her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, yeah, be careful walking by us. The Lord will kiss you. That could have been <laughs> Caitlyn. <laughs> how many times have? Oh yeah. But how many times have we seen people come by us and get fucked up Whoop. just by walking yeah, by? Skateboarders. Yeah. Skateboard. I mean, we seen oh, it all. I remember that. I remember a while back. Oh, he yeah. bailed out oh, back there. Yeah. Oh, we seen that. Yeah, we seen. Nigga hit his head. Those people oh, running, yeah. Yeah. running to the pole. <laughs> yeah, we seen this motherfucker uh, over here. Yeah, he just said. <laughs> oh, they remember the black guy and the white girl walking down there, they both fell yeah, they fell on their face. Got up. That was some wild shit, man. Countless yeah. times. Yo. They both at the same time fell flat on their face. Bow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, yeah. That bitch is out here. That's a hey, you know what? She you probably is, man. Yeah. She might yeah. be. She probably needs some money. Mm -hmm. uh, shit, I don't know. That's how they, they turn all of our women into whores. They can't survive without being a hoe. Yeah. That's how this whole system is set up. Yeah, yeah she got a nice little booty. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, bring that scripture out. He's so that was, uh, talking about right That's here. creepy right there. <laughs> He's you know, so... couples, man. They like the um, they walk Norman Bates couple, man. They walk you know like that. <laughs> yeah. Norman Bates, Norman Bates couple. Know the Bates funny. Hotel puppy. Yeah, the Bates Hotel <laughs> He got his grandma stuffed. Shit, she stuffed. She <laughs> stuffed. His dead grandma stuffed up. Now, with all hell break <laughs> loose, hey, with all hell break loose, she gonna get her manhood took it. Right, 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 right. Walking right. around here, I look like a fucking man. That shit gonna get taken. <laughs> I 
That was a creepy ass couple, man. They was, they was walking like this. Hey, like, started talking shit when we got down there. <laughs> yeah, he heard yeah, way about. down here. But they shouldn't be fucking weirdos. We won't talk about them. So. Alright, uh, weird we're gonna get the scripture real quick. Like we were talking about earlier about the judges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the crowd. Mm -hmm. Devils, pretty much. This is, uh, Isaiah 2 and 11. The lofty looks of a man shall be humble, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Yeah, the Lord alone, Yahweh alone. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. Yeah, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of the armies. Yahweh of the armies. He, read that again, that is powerful. I'll just talk to the Hey, that's powerful. Right Isaiah there. 2 and 11. The lofty looks of a man shall be humble, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down. They're going to bow down, yeah. And the Ooh. Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Mobites! For, for the day of the Lord of hosts Mouse. shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. Yeah, so, yeah the Lord will get these proud devils, man. You bitches. Keep going. And upon everyone that is lifted up. There's all these people, they walk around with their head up. They proud. They say uh, that America will never be destroyed. My bank account will never be drained. You know what I mean? My, I'll continue living fat. You know what I'm saying? I'm, nothing's ever going to happen to my perfect way of life. Right, because can't nobody destroy our military. Right, yeah. You know? uh, they just proud. Or these bitches, these women, they're so proud. And he shall be brought low. That was it. He's gonna be brought low, man. Just like all these fucking, even the, the, the damn, uh, well, you talking about the politicians, they think they got it good, but what about our people like the drug dealers? <laughs> the rappers, yeah, they yeah. always boasting about how great they yeah. are. But how great are you when you laying in a goddamn chalk line? You done got shot in your head five goddamn times. How great is that? <laughs> right. Cause that's the end of them every time and they'll never fail. All them rappers rapping about running up doing drills and shooting motherfuckers. Talking about they the greatest and they can't be stopped. We, they always end up getting stopped. Yeah, they, should, they only last for a season. Yeah, a couple seasons, baby. That's it. Get out of there. Like your boy Tupac bra bragging, oh, got shot five times, still alive. Fuck no, you wife. ain't. That's why I your wife. Yeah, that's right, why sir. I fucked your wife. Look at Tupac now. What's that song? Hit him, hit him up. Hit him up. Yeah, yeah hit, hit him, him up. You know around that time. He, death wasn't that far around the corner. Oh, yeah, he death was knocking, right around yeah. the corner. You know what I'm saying? He came knocking, you know? Yep. When, he was, when he was doing all that shit yep. around that time, death was right around the corner. See, the most high gave him a warning shot. Yeah, shot his ass five times and he bragged about it. Yep. It's the That's same. a proud spirit. That's that Christian nigga. He, he, sure he shot him. He, 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 I think that was spiritual from the dude when he shot him. He shot him in his textbook. Did it? Wow. You know what I'm saying? Woo. Yeah, he, he, they cut his uh, right or left testicle off. Really? I didn't even know that. Damn. I probably one of the reasons why he ain't got no kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. that was on the hippo side. Probably well, why I ain't. Yeah, you'll see. Probably because he likes guys. Yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah, I never heard about Woo. Tupac. Well, yeah, when he got Jeez. shot, they shot Such him. Such a ass. ball, off. When he got shot, set up, whatever. Up in New York? Yeah, yeah, they, that's when he said Biggie and Puffy or something. Yeah, right? yeah. At the studio, right there in Manhattan. I mean, my balls, right? They even had it in the movie. You see that movie with Torres? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, like, I saw uh, that Jake right here. Look at this Jake right here. Look at this Jake right here. Uh, oh, yeah, home. Jake. So, What's happening? But uh, they even had it in the movie <laughs> when... Uh, Jake is crazy. You know what I mean? He got shot. He was up in the room and shit. And he's like, this motherfucker shot me in the nuts. Right, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. they mentioned in the movie. Yeah, yeah, if you watch the movie. Yeah. I, I never watched that movie. I need to, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I remember when it came out, I thought it was, uh, that, when did that come out? That was like right around me when I woke I was, up. I'm gonna say 06, 07. That was right before I woke up to the truth, and back then, my truth was still hip hop. <laughs> hey, you right, know what I mean? Yeah. And I thought that movie was blasting. Like, like Common and shit. I used to listen to that movie. Yeah, that goddamn oh, poet. Yeah, yeah. Common, Common. My shit yeah, was he's supposed to be a He's just fucking I never, never liked Common. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he was a bug, that was the rest of it. He, he, too, he'll th think he got uh, some kind of uh, supreme knowledge. Yeah, he's he, he, oh, he's, he's conscious. Yeah, he's a far better actor than he is a rapper. He's a 
I always like that Wu Tang shit. That was, and then, that's the funny thing. I listened to some of that Wu Tang, and I didn't realize a lot of the shit they was talking about was biblical. Remember when RZA on the liquid sword? He was like 144,000 chosen electrons yeah. and protons. Yeah. Cause they knew they knew they was Israelites. He had his one song talking about this dude from the tribe of Levi and right, right, yeah. So they half stepping with their shit now. I, now I think they're Muslims. They use shit. it for profit. And yeah, they, right. They use it for profit. Just like Killer Priest. Oh yeah, Killer Priest had a uh, a song on Liquid Swords talking about the Bible, yeah. basic instructions before I leave the earth. Uh, the Bible and there was another one called One Step. And now and he was in the uh, truth. You just videos of him on YouTube with the heart. That was back. That was back in nine, nine, seven, nine, eight. Yeah, but now uh, I seen a video of Killer Priest talking about the Anunnaki, and that, and, and the real truth actually goes back to the Epic of Gilgamesh. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. yeah he talking about cuneiform tablets and yeah. shit. Yeah. That's the bugged out. Tablets. Huh? The golden tablets. Oh, the golden tablets. Oh, that's Joseph you remember Smith. Remember the boy that came out here to talk to the tablets? Oh, the oh, you talking about the tablets of Hermes? Yeah, that dude was funny. The, the tablets, tablets of Thoth. Yeah. Oh yeah, this <laughs> the, guy. The emerald uh, tablets yeah. of Thoth. That was some fun. Yeah, the queen, uh, the the Shiva. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you ain't gonna tell me. I learned this two weeks ago. You ain't gonna tell me. <laughs> he just learned some shit. Come out challenging. He's him. like, them tablets. They spoke to my heart. <laughs> I know <laughs> this in my heart. In my spirit, I know them tablets is the truth. Dude, was okay. Okay. It was funny. That's, was like, funny, that's some good shit to watch. Yeah, it, 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 it was funny is that when people <laughs> try to uh, explain their philosophy or whatever yeah. they are, the knowledge they got, they don't seem too sure. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can, I can hear their voice. Yeah, you can feel it in their spirit, and that's who they're kind of, you know, like. Especially when you're challenging them. Right, no. they don't seem too sure. Like, that's what I'm saying. Every time anybody doubt comes know. creeping in quick. That's why we uh, what's that scripture we cast out imaginations? Um, oh yeah, that's, that's uh, Corinthians ten. I think you know what I'm saying. Golden scripture. Yeah, you know. There's another one. That hey, he, that's, that's my scripture search engine right here. You know, you know. I just I think it's yeah. He's a walking concordance. Or eleven. There was another scripture that was similar like that. Oh, Casting down strongholds. There's a couple of them. ten and five. I'm gonna look it up. First group. Yeah, you're right. It's in Corinthians for sure. Wow. What's happening? Man, my program keep closing. I gotta fix that shit. Yeah, it says somebody was trying to hack our fucking YouTube channel. I got an email. I just said it popped up again. That's something, I bet it's your boy. Somebody in there trying to log in, trying to figure out the password. Did you make That's any crazy. more videos? Huh? That dude making any more videos? I don't videos? know who's doing it. Somebody's doing it. What does that tell you? That it, what, it, what this truth is getting to people, man. Probably Motherfuckers probably. hate you so bad, they're trying to log into your YouTube account. What the hell? Fucking faggots. Anonymous trying to get in. Oh, anonymous? Why do they yeah, want to mess with us? Bitch. No. Oh, yeah, you can do that. I'll just give you the... Yeah. Dude, my PayPal account got like uh, 75 cents in it. Here you go, <laughs> Second yeah. Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but uh, mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the anointed. Right, because right. You come up here talking that bullshit, that worldly philosophy. You come up here with any kind of bugged out philosophy, we're going to shut you down, all right? We're going to shut you down, and we're going to cast all that bullshit. We're just going to cast it all down. We're going to break you down. We're going to smash you to pieces, and then we're going to rebuild you through the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. so you got, first, you got before you can build someone up, you got to break them down. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to loot them. You got to... Like when you first get this truth, you gotta forget all that old bullshit you knew. You thought you had some kind of knowledge. Shit. You didn't know a goddamn thing. Like me, thought I was sweet. You're right, you get right. I all right, at first day you yeah. came up here. You was the <laughs> ambassador for pork. Yeah, I was ready, boy. I was ready to. I was ready to uh, to preach. But I was like, damn. No, nah, but see, but now, see, I, I never even knew that he would wake up. You know, but hey, hey, Gabor, that's what I'm saying. The moral cost of the door. Yeah, he was that same way. Hey, yeah. look, we. I was being hey. mean as hell to you, wasn't I? <laughs> Nah, I, it, it was cool. I was cursing you out. Nah, yeah. I was, I, I was being a dick. 
straight up. I was like, but it worked. You know, you gotta break them down and build them up. I thought was that's how you do it. And yeah, that's how they did me, you know. Oh. Gabor talked about it, how he was yeah. like a clown. Yeah. I just heard the truth. I don't know. I've heard a lot of brothers say that. They was, you know, they come up scoffing at the camp one, you know, but they came back by one week and then the, the motherfucking truth just hit you like a Mack truck. And you're like, oh shit. I mean, like, like when I first heard it, I already knew I didn't know shit. Right. So I just instead of I, I, I just it started absorbing. Yeah, that's what I did. Immediately, just sort of absorbing. Because before I came into the truth, I was under some bugged out shit. I was into that Zachariah Sitchin shit. Yeah. I was listening to Zachariah Sitchin. What's some other dudes? Michael Tassarian. Uh, you no, know, all them clowns. David Ike. I, I was into all the bugged out shit. The, uh, the Freeman perspective. Who? Like, I was before I knew shit. Egypt, that Egypt shit. Yeah, uh, I was in the Aliens. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah, I used to. Even that some Sumerian shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's what I was. I was preaching some Anunnaki shit. Talking yeah. about, oh, that, that actually, yeah. I was not saying, oh, the Garden of Eden was when the Anunnaki genetically engineered people. Yeah. <laughs> I used to. was mad for gold. They had me with that until I actually learned the Bible and came to find out. That actually, the, the Anunnaki that these people keep talking about is those ancient Babylonian false gods that the Bible condemns over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. You know they what I mean? Pictures of it. Yeah. 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 It's like Marduk. Because Marduk was a, like the chief of the Anunnaki. And a Marduk, all he is is the Bab he was the sky god. Okay? In Babylon, he was known as Marduk, but guess what they called him in Greece? Zeus. Mm. Same motherfucking false god. In Egypt, they called him Horus. You know what I mean? And we know that's some bullshit. That's some yeah. heathen shit. That's, 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 why, that's, why you, that's why you said the most happened in mysterious ways. Yeah. And, you know I mean? That's funny yeah. how I learned that shit first. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. then I learned the Bible. Right. So that way you know. I, I had both perspectives yep. already. Yep. As you know, that was bullshit. Yep. And when you came across that, that was the real deal. Yep. Because every time you try to teach the Bible to somebody who thinks they're conscious or have knowledge, they always come, oh, the Anunnaki, the cuneiform, Gilgamesh, all that nonsense, that. you know? Uh, yeah, fallen angel shit. Ain't no such thing as no fallen angels. Uh, Ecclesiasticus, uh, Ecclesiasticus 22 and 8. He that telleth the tale to a fool speaketh to one in a slumber. <laughs> when he hath told his tale, <laughs> he will say, what is the matter? Yeah. <laughs> I have experience with that. I ain't gonna say his name. Had, you've had, we've had many an experience Man, like that. Man, you know that. what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. What? Never mind. I'll tell you later. Who? I'll tell you later. Come on with it. I not Oh, okay. I don't want to, you know. Off camera, I, don't wanna, I got you, know you know man. Can't, can't everything wanna, be on camera? Yeah, I don't wanna, you know. You gotta man. save some shit for privates. But well, that shit is so annoying, man. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying. You Said over and over, over and over, right? I know, I know what you're saying. I already know. Makes you go mad, man. Hey, but what are you gonna do, man? Like some, some people just can't get it, you know. So fuck them. Just fuck them. I mean, be as nice as you can to them, just so you can get a. Because the scriptures say live peaceably with people if possible, right? Oh, well, if they talking shit, that's another story. That is the curse they ass is out. But, but don't get all bent out of shape over people. Like, I used to get angry as fucking just be blood pressure just boiling and shit because I'm just so mad people ain't getting it. You can't, you can't do that. You'll stress yourself out and die of a heart attack. Cause yeah, that shit. I, I used to have that a very a lot. Yeah. Like, hey, that's probably why I lost all my hair. Wheel. He's doing that. I yeah, yeah. That. No, 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 no. Oh, look. When that's I first came to, head. when I first came in the truth, I had a full head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> and then my old lady left me in. Hey, boy, look at me now. This, my shit is shining. <laughs> hey, hey, shit. I'm tripping. Dang. Well, we used to try and teach everybody, man. Yeah. Anybody and everybody. Yeah. Man. Friends. Old women, old women. <laughs> oh man. My mom and shit. Oh, I used to get real mad at women. I used to curse them out. Man, I ain't gonna waste my time 
Literally teaching everybody. Yeah, teach everybody. <laughs> we don't we don't know the certain yeah, that's you're wasting your time with certain that's people. Out the window. But you know, sometimes you'll get a humble woman, you go teach her. You know what I mean? She'll forget everything five minutes later, but Yeah, yeah that's done. But you know, we'll we'll be used, we'll be nice to people. <laughs> I, we, I used to come out teaching just be angry as hell. I mean, you're supposed to be angry, but you got to be balanced. You know what I mean? You can't come out here like a wild man just going all crazy, breathing fire everywhere. Just <laughs> you look like you're out of your goddamn mind. <laughs> you seen those old videos. That's man, crazy, that dude. shit was funny. That's insanity. So you got you to be smooth with the truth. Oh yeah, cause I don't know where it's at, but it's, I think it was Paul. He was preaching, or Peter, somebody. He was, they was preaching, and uh, one of the Romans dude came up, and he was like uh, most noble or whatever. Yeah. And he pretty much like using sarcasm and shit like that. Yeah. It's not really. He called it Romans most noble to pretty much you know calm the situation down or pretty much I don't know. Well, you gotta play mind games with people too. Yeah, perfect so hatred and shit. Cause sometimes it's. Sometimes it's better to get in someone's mind and to fuck with their mind. Let me, uh, let me get you know? the scripture real quick. You can do shit like that. Um, this is uh, Proverbs 25 and 11. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. Pictures of silver. Uh, it's a golden, a golden apple. Hey, that's a... Hey, that's the... Uh, we'll read that. That's like the, the, the fruit... Of uh, the tree of life. Uh, Proverbs 25 and 11. One of Proverbs 14, 15. A word fitly spoken is like apples okay. of gold in pictures of silver. So, yeah, you, you feel it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know. You're right. Um, but, I mean, sometimes the. You gotta raise your voice. And, yeah, you know what I mean? But there's a know, balance. Yeah, it's a balance. It's a balance. Because sometimes, <laughs> motherfuckers ain't going to get it anyway if you're right. like loud or fluid. Like, right, you know exactly. No matter what you could do. No matter what you do. You could have an angel come out the clouds with, with a with a 5,000 year old tablet. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they'd be like, oh, that's boo. That's some special effects. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? That's Project that's, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's Project Blue. <laughs> <laughs> But that's, a, that's government, hey, man. Y'all seen that lately, though, a lot of it's going on. There was a city, they, they uh, like, a, what was it? Something appeared in China, like a- It's been happening everywhere. City, Africa, yeah. China, Mexico, uh, Damn. I think Missouri. Oh, yeah. Missouri. It's been, it's happening a lot. You know, that's why I think that, um, you know that, that, um, that, um, the thing that fired up in September? That CERN, that, that, that I think that has something to do the with The Hadron some, part uh, of Like it. a generator to help. Oh, it's something. It is something. You know, they do motherfuckers on the internet talking about it's gonna open a realm, a different realm. And yeah, demons, yeah, stupid right motherfuckers now. ain't got yeah. a spiritual eye. The demons you know, gonna come out of that Hades. Power or something <laughs> that they're gonna use. Cause yeah. they're gonna, to light up a whole so fucking the demons sky. is already man, here. That's gonna yeah. take a powerful <laughs> generator yeah, to run uh, that shit, man. Uh, they they show uh, X-rays up in what is it, like the air, the right, ground air. Right, right, right. Man, that's like the it's like the whole. Yeah, yeah, it's about how big it is. Yeah, yeah. They just one in Texas too. Is even bigger. So that big, that that big, um, that um, what you call it in Matthew twenty four? Yeah, they. It's it's probably a fucking round weapon, some type of. uh Well, that great deception. It's gonna be part of that giant deception. That, I would when say. Says, let me read. Let me just. I was Infowars posted a story today. Was having some kind of open. uh That's in Switzerland too. That's something else. I think Switzerland's bugged out. They got all that knights. That's where the knights Templars. Going back to them secret societies, but like Infowars posted something where they was up in CERN, up where that collider is. I mean, they had some kind of satanic play where they had like do little satanic rituals and shit. You talking about the, uh, that commercial they had for CERN? Was that a commercial? I don't yeah, it was know. Dancing I all around. And yeah, shit maybe that's what that. it was. I didn't yeah, see I it. That shit. Ritual dance. What the, the symbol of CERN? If you get on Google and look up the symbol for CERN, it's a six six six. Just get on Google Images or you know you Duck Duck Go whatever. You see the symbol for CERN is three sixes, but it's like they're all turned in different ways. Fucking devil! But you can't tell the average person 
See, if you tell the average person that devil worshipers are controlling the world, they think you're crazy. They can never believe their feeble mind, their penis-sized brain can never fathom that that could actually be true. Because it sounds so outlandish, you know? Right. But it's all right in front of your face. It's not even, a, it's, they don't even hide it. It's right out in the open. When, you know, when the government passes law saying faggots can get married, they think that means love. That's fucking satanic. Oh, I got scripture for that. That's a beautiful, man. That's how you know it's just a human right. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's yeah, it's fucking bizarre world. They like to change everything up. They, they want to change. The now they get on. Uh, you we, you know the Catholic Church is wicked as hell, right? Let me get this scripture real quick. Oh this yeah, is, uh, go ahead. Proverbs twenty four and twenty one. My son, fear thou the Lord and the King, and meddle not with them that are given to change. Yeah, given to change. Always change the shit. Yeah, and they trying to make the Catholic Church accept faggots, and they get mad at them because what? they, even though the Catholic Church is still pretty much pagan, I ain't worried about him. Just let him go. But he on some shit. But you see how they getting on the Catholic Church right now because they won't accept faggots still, even though they got child molesters all for this shit. That's Satan right. trying to distract a lesson. Yeah, that's Satan. Yeah. I'm trying to bring out a point and Satan interrupted him. Oh, fucking, fucking killing him. That's so easy. This going here and fro. Satan's. Yeah, he's going here and there. Yeah. Yeah, while yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, giving the chance. All them churches now, they all marrying faggots. You know? If that's not giving it a change, that's a whole lot of change. That's a goddamn, uh, a goddamn 180. About fucking face. Totally different direction. And then they wonder why the church's memberships are down. You know what I mean? You know a lot of people, they believe in the Bible. They know in the back of their mind, like, it's not cool for faggots to be married. Right. Yeah, it's like totally against the Bible. So that a lot of them churches, like I was telling you earlier on the way up here, how I said, uh, somebody said, uh, all these church, them old buildings, they're pretty much like museums now. Of something that used to be. Because they're, nobody's going to them churches. They're a joke. They're just like museum pieces. Right. Ain't nobody up in them churches. Is it faggots? You know, they got a couple faggots, a couple trannies in there. It's just a joke. Yeah, the elite already got their set up. Well, yeah, the main preachers now, the spiritual leaders, are the actors, the rappers. You know what I mean? That oh, the the sports fan, uh, the sports players, athletes. Don't you know the word fan? Like oh, I'm a bit, I'm a big fan of the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, that's a fanatic. The word fan comes from the word fanatic, but it actually goes back to the Latin word fanus, which means temple. That's where you get the word profane. Outside of the temple, fan it, profanus. Because the word fan means temple. So if you say you're a fan of something, that has like a so called religious connotation to it. And that's why the. Oh, yeah, that's not exactly. It's like worshiping. Yeah, wor yeah it's worship. It's, wor it's literal, literally worship. And they, and they use that word, fan. They know that whoever started using that, like, I'm a fan of this team, I'm a fan of this music. I'm a big fan of this rapper. Whoever started pushing that in popular usage knew what it meant. You know what I mean? That, these people don't know what words mean. Oh yeah, what was, what was uh, we looked up entertainment. That means to be tied down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means to tie you down. Yeah. It's like to be inter, inter, be twined, to, to, to tie your ass up. And that's what they do, they tie you up have you sitting on a fucking cat couch, trapped, st you just trapped, you can't even move. You just staring at this fucking uh, bright flashing light. Just staring there, just, just that's pr in a mental prison. That's crazy how, like, really important root words. Oh, yeah. Because he's always a smart thing. That's yeah. funny how he's talking about earlier how people use their uh, video games as a babysitter. But they, wait, Esau doesn't, 
that to everybody. They put make sure you got TVs everywhere. They're easy to get, cheap. Because they, they want to keep you tied up. Because you can just say it straight up. Like, instead of being sick, instead of saying, are oh, you being entertained? Are oh, you being tied up? Yeah, you being I tied mean, up. You're better off than saying that. Hey. Yeah, I'm tied up. Yeah, I'm tied up. That's literally what they said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being entertained. It's not the TV. It's oh, it's talking about a movie. That's like your boy Maximus from Gladiator. Are you not entertained? Yeah. He, he was disgusted with it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because they were dead. Because he showed, yeah, they showed you in that movie how they used... You know, they used the sports back in the Roman Empire to keep the people tied up, to keep them entertained. They called it bread and circus. They pass out free food and free entertainment. As long as the people got free food and free entertainment, they'll be good slaves. And they, you know, they won't get out of order. They're, you know, they keep their minds occupied. Can you imagine what happened out here if there was no football and no EBT cards? There'd be riots in the street. It'd be all out chaos. Yeah, I, remember, I remember just a few years ago, they were talking about the NFL was supposed to uh, cancel. That'd have, been, that? that'd have been a catastrophe. Man, that was the talk of the town. Everybody was fucking hurt. They, they, they was mad about that. Man, it was worried. Worried. They was seriously worried. Like, it was the end of the world. Yeah. I was hoping for that shit, too. Me, too. I was praying about that. I think that was in 2010. It was. 2011. It wasn't that long ago. And it's funny too, oh, you're talking about the Roman Empire. All the Super Bowls, they use Roman numerals for this to, to number oh, the Super Bowl. Sure, sure. You know, and they go to the Coliseum. Or like a fancy oh. Yeah, this is a key time of the year. I was seeing some. Oh yeah. Season holidays. NBA about to kick off. This is the heaviest. Well, this is the season of the harvest right now. The harvest season. So there, isn't it? A lot of children are getting sacrificed right now. You know what I mean? This the this is the most demonic time of the year. Cause yeah, all these. It's just the time when shit done. Yeah, it's the time when it right. Every, the time of death, yeah. the harvest, and they gotta make all these sacrifices so they think they can make it through the winter, so they're gonna sacrifice all kind of children. And they sacrifice them to the God of the harvest. <laughs> That's all through the Bible too, man. I don't know why everybody got all fucked up on the blood moon. There was blood moons even when they were on fucking schedule for blood moons. Yeah, because there was a blood moon. What was that? I think I want to say August or July. Yeah, yeah sure was. It was a full I see moon. It. it was a blood moon. It was moon. bloody as yeah, hell. Sure was. And nobody knew say nothing about it but yeah. us. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It, you know. So At least Esau I... seeing shit that it ain't it ain't working out as usual. They, you know. They, yeah. It, it's it's talking a different language. Like like you he, know like when the Pope threw that bird up. Yeah, and they got eaten by the uh, right. attacked by the uh, what? Yeah, what got it? I forget. It was like a, a crow, probably something like that. A that. seagull. Yeah, right, right. A seagull right, killed right. it, or the dove. Yeah, so it, all that, well, it's everything is talking different now. Yeah, and it's confounding Esau. Esau's getting, he's, he's starting get, to worry. He's worried, yeah, yeah, you know. Right, yeah. Oh, I got a scripture for that. Look at his way. What's the scripture says? Um, Jeremiah he, six. He, he knows that he has but a short time. Because he's telling him, like, motherfucker, you about to get out of here. I think that's Jeremiah yeah. six. Yeah, he about to get it. What's See, that? He got them suits on. He got them the witches and <laughs> shit. Just telling them, telling them all the good news. Like, uh, like a uh, perfect example, like the three hundred when uh, Leonidas went to the oracles. Told him he's gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the treatment they get yeah, right now. Yeah, and he know it too. So he gonna take everybody. That's his attitude. Yeah. I'm going out, y'all going with me. Yeah. <laughs> you see it. Exactly. That's Jeremiah 6. Y'all going with me. Oh, I'm Jeremiah 6. Jeremiah 49. I'm getting scriptures mixed up. Look, I got one for you. That's some beautiful shit, man. That's beautiful, man. His kingdom going out. The end of his era. Here, I got a scripture for you. 
Yeah. You sure about that? This one's pretty long. Go ahead, bring it out now. This is uh, S Esther 14 and 11. O oh Lord, give not thy scepter unto them that be nothing, and let them not laugh at our fall, but turn their device upon themselves. Like a witch. And make him an example that hath begun this against us. Remember, O oh Lord, make thyself known in time of our affliction, and give me boldness, O King of the nations, and Lord of all power. Give me eloquent speech. There was that, uh, who was talking about? Uh, earlier. Give me eloquent speech in my mouth before the lion. Turn his heart to hate him that fighteth against us, that there may be an end of him, mm -hmm. and of all that are like minded to him. You, Speaking of yeah, his, 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 uh, like minded to him, anything. That was customs. His, uh, his, uh, you know? his allies. Yeah, his allies. Oh, any, you know, two third motherfuckers. Yeah. Two third motherfuckers, man. They don't want to see slave mass, mass, mass of fall. They sure you know, it. they don't want to see that, man. But that's the end of them um, shipping in their dope. Yeah. You know, distributors no more, around the neighborhood. No more you know, we had no more EUT. <laughs> but deliver us with thy hand and help me, that am desolate and which have no other helper but thee. Thou knowest all things, O Lord. Thou knowest that I hate the glory of the unrighteousness. That's right, that's right. And abhor the bed of the uncircumcised and all, and of all, the heathen. Yeah, Ooh, the heathen. Man. Hey man, I got a scripture, right? Remember how you just said how Shit ain't lining up for Esau going the way he wants it. <laughs> Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Edom and his purposes, that he hath a purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. Mm. The mm. earth is moved at the noise of their fall at the cry of the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in bitches. her pangs. Bitches. Like bitches, you know what I'm saying? Like a woman in her pangs. Like he said, cause shit ain't going the way Esau planted. Like they say, uh, his whole New World Order plan is like five, ten years behind schedule. Hey, you don't, you guys hear uh, yes, John Kerry's speech is. the other day? That motherfucker, I'm telling you, he was talking about us, man. What did he say? He was like, we're, we're, we're going into hell. Some shit in yeah. reference to them going into Syria. Like, he was saying, he was like speaking in code, like, man, we're going to Syria. This is going to, this is hell. We're going into hell. That is hell. Bring, you know, it's like they, he, this they motherfucker know, know the prophecies and they try their best to avert it, man. Yeah, they, they, they know that's da a dangerous yep. deal. Yep. They know that's, that's it. They know it. They see it. They get, they worried, man. Everybody knows that's the spot where it's going to pop off. Yep, yep, yep. Just like it said, um, it, the Red Sea. That, that ain't no secret. They mentioned the Red Sea. Yeah, that's, Even yeah, people that's, who don't claim they don't believe in the Bible believe that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No you secret. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's one They'll be like, oh, it's all going to start over there in the Middle East. Yeah, that's no secret. <laughs> you see it, too. You see it, too. That's where that fire was ignited, boy. The fuse that's why all this shit popping off. Man. Yeah, the fuse has been lit. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. It ain't nothing they can do to blow it out. No, you can't stop it. It's like when Wild E. Coyote was trying to put the fuse out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it went out, but lit up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. There's nothing they can do, man. The, the king almost here, man. The king. Shit, we're almost out of here. Fucking oppression. That's what I'm talking about. Oppression, man. That's why every fuck want to be oppressed. That's why it's every right, like I mean, everybody in their right fucking mind. Who the fuck want to be oppressed? You don't want to live you out here in this shit. Yeah, shit, man. Oppression, man. 
You get you get tired of you get tired because you keep trying to teach people the truth and they keep pushing you away and they're like, I don't want to hear that shit and I'm not, you know, you get tired of hearing this shit, man. Everybody lost, living in goddamn darkness. Right. You trying to be a righteous individual, you trying to be brotherly, but you can't. You can't. You can't. And, and then when when you start <laughs> cursing motherfuckers out, they're like, oh, I thought you was a Bible believer. You're supposed to love everybody. Like, Nick, you don't even believe in the Bible. Yeah, they believe that part. Yeah, they believe that part, though. But they're an expert Shit. on being a Bible believer, but they don't believe. Mm. It's madness. Mm. It's a type of madness. I think it's fun, though, actually. Yeah, it's we have a good time out here teaching this truth. Mm -hmm. We got a good time laughing at these fools when they drop dead after they reject the truth. Mm -hmm. Like, we had a good time laughing at Leonard last week. <laughs> Leonard, we've been known Leonard for years. I wish we got it on camera. We ain't get it on camera. That was the, the Lord got it on camera. We're gonna watch it tape in the kingdom. But, uh, dude, we've been talking to this dude for years. Since what, back in 08. Man, we come been coming out here for a minute, but, uh, we used to talk for this guy for hours. He came out here last week, and we told him, we've been told him the Lord was gonna bug him out, that he's gonna go crazy. You know what I mean? The Lord's gonna fuck his mind up. And sure enough, saw his ass last week, he was bugged the fuck out. Looked like a straight up schizophrenic. I got, I got a little scripture here. Uh, Jeremiah 51 and six. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Yeah, Babylon will be recompensed. Babylon's America. Keep going. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Yeah, who, who else is drinking the America's cup? The whole world. Anywhere you go in the world, you're gonna see what? U.S. dollars. It's a, uh, embassies. Yeah, American embassies in every damn country. Well, damn near every country. Battleships, warships. Warships. At the dock at the bay. <laughs> and they all saying, go, uh, GI, go home. They don't want your ass there. Go ahead. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> they pushing that homosexual agenda all across the earth. That's They going to all these other countries uh, trying to spread all oh, gay rights, LGBT rights, and all this other faggot shit. And that's Iran, why- Iran ain't having that. Yeah, Iran, they do from Africa ain't having it. What's his name? What's your boy's name? Uh, I, how you say that? There you go. He ain't with that faggot shit. Russia ain't you? Yeah, Russia ain't with that shit. Yeah, Russia, they, they was giving out free, uh, I think, free uh, refrigerator. He was passing out like money. <laughs> if you had a baby, the Russian government will re reward you. Yeah, if you find fags, that's coming out. Yep, if you a faggot, you gonna get fined. Yep, oh, they got a uh, old fucking gang squad out there that go around beating up bags. Yeah. You see, you see that? And, they, and they get away with it too. They beat the shit out. The Russia, they keeping it real. Oh, that's why they had a, uh, they, they created their, uh, a family flag in Russia to counteract the, the faggot rainbow flag. You know, because they got tired of seeing that goddamn rainbow flag, so they made a family flag. And, and, and uh, they know too that that's flag they sell. Yeah. That's all part of that Satanism, that satanic magic. That's a that's a uh, a talisman. A, a, yeah. uh, that, you know, that you know to symbolize that he wasn't going you know destroy his water. He be up. Yeah. But in fact, it's not because the, the the whoever started the whole faggot movement, you can bet your ass they was a fucking devil worshiper. Damn right. <laughs> Had to be. Yep. 
They start going hard too. Yeah, this ain't just starting. Down. They pushing the music too. Yeah. All just like the Judas Priest. Oh yeah, the sixties, yeah, seventies. All that wood stock and all that. But you see the Judas Priest, how Judas Priest would come out wearing all the leather and the spikes. Oh yeah. And yeah. they come to find out Rob Halford was a big flaming faggot. Cause that, that whole, all that imagery is part of that satanic faggot imagery. That, 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 that's just part. That's part of it. It all. It's all. Yeah. It's all linked. Yeah. That's, what, that's what you got it, dude. That's why you got on them pedophiles up in the Catholic Church. Yeah, yeah, that's about. crazy. I told you at my gym, man. Dude, threatened the fags, man. They arrested his ass immediately, man. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. He was tired of facts coming to bother him and shit. Right. You know, right, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know, he was mad. Asked him, he was coming out to do this exercise and, and right, the, right. the gym yeah. is full of facts too. It's oh, full yeah, of facts, I bet. man. I bet. You hey, know? Let me get another scripture. But I, I keep my cool, you know, you know. I got a precept for that. I'm gonna go back to this Jeremiah 49 again. This is about Esau. This is all about Esau. When you read Jeremiah 49, we ain't got time to read it all, but read it all. It gives you a prophecy on the future of Edom. Jeremiah 49 and uh, 16. Now I'm going to start at 15. For lo, talking to, this is talking about Esau. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee and the pride of thine heart O oh, thou dwellest in the cleft of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, that thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle. I will bring thee down from that, save the Lord. And we know what that's talking about. Yeah, that's Esau all day. Yeah, that's Esau all day. Esau liked to live in the penthouse cave on monkeys. the top every floor. Every time. Thousand cave beast. Yeah, every thousand. Time. I, you can't get me to go in that motherfucker. When I see that scripture, I, I just automatically see the, the bald eagle. Yeah. Like, you know, the main symbol they got. Yep. Trump of power, man, that he got talking shit over it. Yep, that's funny too, because Benjamin Franklin wanted the, wanted the national symbol of America to be a turkey. And he got overridden. Yeah. It's like, nope. Yeah. It's gonna be the eagle. Yeah, yeah that, that was the spirit. Yep. Cause, yeah, because he knew. He knew he was. He knew he was. Because then Alexander had the eagle or something like that? Yeah, well, yeah. Because he, he said he was the son of Zeus. Yeah, yeah. He tried to say his dad wasn't Philip. He was the son of Zeus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they even said that in the movie. Yeah. His mama was even saying that shit, too. Yeah, she's you not know, that crazy ass bitch. Yeah, they got the perfect bitch to play that part. Oh, it's like, yeah.